Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Droid Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Planet Coaster 2 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck only within screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are going through these kind of issue. The first and foremost step that you, to, you need to do is you have to do a simple restart on your system. So to do a restart, it is quite simple. Just go over here in the start icon, go to the power icon over here and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and that will be okay fine. And that's what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about, we have to try with the next one. That is all about instead of launching the game from the Steam, we need to always try launching the game from the installation folder. So we have two methods in order to navigate to the installation folder. The first one, we have to go over here, right click and go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. That will take you over here. And over here, as you can see, this PC, local C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, planet, coaster 2. And from here, you can navigate to the game and you can launch the game from here. So instead of launching the game from the Steam, try launching the game from here. That will be working in most cases. Apart from the shortcut, we also have a, another method. That is, we have to navigate to this PC, go to localist C, go to program file x86, navigate to Steam, go to Steam Amps, go to Common. From here, navigate to Planet Coaster 2. We have to scroll down and navigate to Planet Coaster 2. From here also you can launch the game. So either you can use the shortcut or you can navigate to the installation folder like this. Once after the game is launched, still if you are having the trouble, you can try third and fourth step, which is all about you have to run the game in the compatibility mode and you have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game in the compatibility mode, just go over here, right click, go to show more option, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7, you have to set this to Windows 7. Go for apply and go for ok. Or you can try with same, just go over to the show more option and go to the properties, compatibility, set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for ok as well. Apart from this, you can also try, what I have to say, you can also try running the game in the administrator. So right click over here, go to show more option, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program as administrator. Go for apply and go for ok. That can also be done. That is also a very important step. And once after done with this one, just close this and you have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we have to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab. So just hit on the play button. But the moment you are hitting on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This even worked for a few users, you can try this out as well. Moving to the next one is all about, we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. You have to search for the control panel like this. Click on this one, go for system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and you have to navigate to Planet Coaster 2. So just scroll down and you'll be able to find it. So over here, as you can see, the Planet Coaster 2 is added. Make sure or you have to put a check on this private as well as the public. So imagine the game is not here. If that is the case, just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app. Go for browse. Navigate to this PC. Go to local disk C. Go to the program file x86. Go for Steam. Navigate to Steam apps. And we have to go to the common. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to the Planet Coaster 2 and from here you have to select the application and go for open and you have to add it. I'm getting the error because the game is already added. That is why I'm getting the error. Once the game is added, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the file explorer and navigate to the documents. And over here we'll be having the folders. So when you have the folder for the Planet Coaster 2, when you start playing the game and saving each progressions of the game, we'll be having the folder. So just delete it. Once everything is delete, just close this and you can try launch the game. Keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game, but even though it worked for many users, you can try this over as well. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals 
for example external joysticks might be connected or any other devices might be connected which is causing the hindrance so unplug all the external devices now launch the game once you are in the game you can connect back the controllers and you can try continue playing the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here search for system configuration search for the system configuration like this click on this one navigate to the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're going to ask you restart the users who are watching this go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application so just go over here search on the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance so we are ending up in the crashing issue so what we need to do is you have to find overlay and overclocking application for example riva tuner msc afterburner and all those things you have to remove un everything from here once everything has been removed what we need to do is we have to move to the next one once everything is removed what we need to do is uh, you have to go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine you can also disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties if the enable the steam overlay while in game is turned on turn this off and try launch the game and also we can give commands in the launch option so the first command is you have to try dx11 is the first command if dx11 is not working you have to give dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to try with dx12 all these things should be working vice versa or if you tried with this one and still it's not working just remove the commands from the launch option and you can close this and you can move to the next step next step is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here and you have to search for graphics settings search for the graphics settings click on this one and as you can see i have already added many games in the same way we have to add the game so go over here as you can see i have added many games so just click on the uh, you have to add click on the add desktop app or it's if not in the desktop we have to navigate to the installation folder so just click on the uh, local disk c go to the program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to planet coaster 2 just scroll down and navigate to planet coaster 2 uh, to select this one and we have to add it so once the game is added as you can see if the game is once it is added what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to make few changes so keep scrolling down so over here i have to find the planet coaster is added so just click on this one and right now as you can see this is gpu preferences let windows decide change this one it is on gpu preference it will be let windows type decide by default change this to high performance and once it's been set into high performance nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 we can just close this and you can go back and try continue playing the game next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here and search for the view advanced system setting so you have to search for view advanced system settings so just click on this one you have to navigate to the advanced go for settings go for the advanced go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disk if the game is installed on c or select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size go to the initial size and the maximum size so we need a calculator so just navigate to the calculators just search for the calculator so the first one is initial size that is 32 gb is the ram multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you this particular value copy this and you have to paste it next one is maximum size that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and you have to copy this and you have to paste it and go for ok and once everything has been set we have to move to the next step next step is all about we have to update the windows so just go over here search for the settings go for windows update and just update your windows so make sure the windows is up to date so if you're going through any kind of issues or like if you have any kind of pending updates and cumulative updates and all those things just update everything and it is done with us next one is all about we have to uh, uninstall and reinstall the game we can try this you can uninstall the game so just go over here go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you should not be installing it back on the same local disk you have to try a new local disk that's what you have to do after trying with all these things we have a very two important step one is we have to update the graphics card 
So what I'll do is I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the NVIDIA. So over here you have to select the product type. So if you're on the NVIDIA GeForce, you have to select GeForce. And if you're on any other things, for example, if you're on GeForce RTX 14 series is mine. So I have to select the 14 series and I have to select 4080 laptop GPU. If you're on Windows 11, I have to select Windows 11 and I have to go for find. So right now what happens is I'll be going through over here and what I need to do is I'll begin in this particular page where from this I have to download the latest version which is 566.03 which is around 711.66 MB where you have to download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. And also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ which even worked for a few users as well. So if the system is based on x64, you have to download this one. If the system is based on x86, you have to download this one and install restart as a mandatory and try launch the game. Last and the least step is all about, we have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single file of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and if you're going through any kind of this issue, they will be fixed from their end. So this is actually a very important step. So we need to wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do next. And now as you can see 2514 files are successfully validated so just close this and try launch the game so these are the possible workaround i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye